it's um it's highly possible i just discovered the the missing link in all of golf let's go Okay, I have got my hands on the uh, PRGR portable launch monitor, uh, also known as like a pocket launch monitor. Here we go, the unveiling. Cue the music. Could this, I mean this is it, could this little guy be as good as everything else out there? Uh, comes this little pouch, okay. It takes AAA batteries, four of them, right in there. So good, I don't have another USB charger. My house is a mess with those things right now. So, now this measures, okay, it's got swing speed, smash factor and impact it uses doppler radar let me turn it on just boom turn it on so we got swing speed ball speed carry distance total distance just hit a button it'll give you smash factor and there's a special little feature that i heard about with this that the others don't do so we'll see if that works as well at the range we're going to start here and we're going to see how she performs. I also brought my Swing Caddy S3 SC300 just to compare numbers. We're not doing a head to head comparison so much. I just want to see if it is, you know, way off base. That would be a mess. Um, check the link in the video description below. At the time of shooting this video, 195 bucks versus 450 okay and others are even higher so we'll see if this does does the deal come on this lays on the ground just like this behind behind so it's got the doppler radar sensor here don't try to stand it up it does not stand up it does have a uh, little whatever size thing that is if you want to put it on a tripod it can be airborne it doesn't matter how high it is so much it is also used for other sports like uh, you could pitch. We'll see how fast I throw a ball and bat speed, softball, so, you know, a lot of other sports you can use this with. It's awesome, but it just goes on the ground. Distance from the ball isn't so important. Whereas some other ones you need to be a certain distance away and have some distance ahead of you to pick up. This, from what I told you, just throw it down, you're good to go you do want to select the club you're going to start you're going to use the other ones are the same you always want to select the clubs so uh, i'm going to start with a uh, pitching wedge pw enter simple didn't even read the directions for that one okay i'm switching to a sand wedge because that flag that white one is 97 yards my experience is these have a hard time picking up the more lofted clubs. So that's where I'm starting. Lofted. Right there. That's on the ground. That's there. I'll change the club. Ready to rock. Those are a few yards off. 87 carry. Is that carry? Let me just make sure. Yeah, 87 carry, 76. It probably went closer to 87, to be honest with you, because uh, that's 94, it just came up to short. So that was just the first swing, let's go. Seven two. Okay, so right now it's picking up swing speed. It's not getting anything else at the moment. It might be because it's just going too high. Let's do a shorter shot. See if we can get a lower. Sixty-two. Okay, so it's picking up swing speed really good. Let me maneuver it to a new location. That might help it. Okay. 
Okay, it's picking up swing speed really good. It's not getting any other yardages at the moment, okay. Let's go to a nine iron, the switch gloves. Hit that really well. Here we go. 134. That says 143 carry. 84. Swing speed's a little different on those. Ball speed's pretty much right. Very accurate. All right, so it just didn't like my sandwich, apparently. Now my carry distance is off about 10 yards per one. That says 134. That says 143. I'll shoot this one where it lands and we'll, we'll see. Forty-five there, thirty-five there. It went there. Yeah, it went about one thirty-five. Okay. The PRGR seems to be pretty right on the money. Okay, let me look at that again. That was pretty good. That's just one fifty, one forty-five. So they're pretty close. I don't think that nine iron's going one fifty. We'll go take this on the course too, and we'll see. What's the swing speed? 86 versus 77. So this is gonna be an 86 mile an hour swing speed. Ball speed's roughly the same. That swing speed seems a little slower, so this is interesting. One more with a nine. Okay, I hit that really well. Okay. That didn't pick it up. That says 141. That's pretty good. We'll go to the six iron now. That probably didn't go 180. 172, that's probably pretty accurate. I hit that pretty good. Okay, that landed right there. 182, 179, they're pretty much spot on. Yeah, 179 is what I shot. That says 179, the PRGR. So that's right on the money. You know, they're both pretty accurate. They're both using a Doppler radar. Obviously the Swing Caddy's got a much bigger sensor than the PRGR, but that. And one of the numbers I always look at are, like this has a 146 smash factor on the Swing Caddy. And then the, um, that is 137. That's more accurate. You can't have a, Six. So sometimes I hit driver and it says, you know, 155. I'm like, hmm, I don't know if I can do that. Is that even realistic? It's probably 175 in, in my guess. 168 there, yeah. 176. I didn't hit it as good as the previous one, so I like that number. Okay, let's keep going. Let's, let's try something. Watch this. Here's what's cool. That, PRGR just picked up my swing speed at 95 miles an hour. Watch this. 96. Nothing on Swing Caddy won't pick that up. Isn't that funny? It does not. This is so cool because PRGR will measure your, it will pick up your swing speed just by swinging the club. 104. Let's see, what if I throw one? Yeah, 46 mile an hour. Ouch. <laughs> Driver, here we go. Two forty one, two thirty. I'm obviously not hitting it very well. 241, two, swing speed 104, 105. They're pretty synced up. Let's um let's take this thing on the course, see how it performs out there. Okay, uh, we're gonna be on course. It's, you know, it's better on course, at least for review purposes, so you I can give you accurate, you know, uh, stats. Like, did it actually go that far? I'm gonna show you that here. So um, I'm gonna use a real ball, Bridgestone. Got my um, four iron Callaway Apex Pro 
and we're gonna go I'm just gonna throw this down it's all set up Oops. like if you were playing around a golf that's that's how you'd uh, operate this thing and we'll just see if it does you know how accurate this puppy actually actually is Two hundred yards. That's what it said. I got one ninety-seven. That's pretty good. Uh, all right, let's go to the next shot. Okay, I have one twenty-two actual playing one thirty-three. It's uphill. Uh, obviously, that's why it's playing longer. So I'm just gonna throw it. Put this on nine iron. Just throw it down back here, uh, anywhere back there, and I'm gonna aim up there and hit my shot. There's some wind too, so that's not really calculated in anything other than me that's why I'm hitting the nine it's just right there that's all there is hit it really well pretty well that says 143 okay and I had 133 actually so but there's a little wind so I'm guessing it's probably playing 138 so according to this, I should be a little bit past the pin, which is not good on this hole. So we'll see. Let's see if my calculations were correct. We had 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38. That's where I am. So it's right where, right where uh, I thought it would be, a little long, which is pretty horrible on this hole. I might have just made it though. Maybe I shouldn't even concentrate. Look, that could roll off the green. Ooh. So, pretty accurate stuff for the first hole. Just iron, iron, two putt. That's pretty good. Let's uh, let's keep it grooving. Let's go to a driver hole and see if the distance on this is totally accurate off the tee box. Let's go. Right here, got my ball. Set it on driver, which is W1, right? Wood one. Throw it down. It doesn't have to be perfect, it just has to be there, roughly. And you're ready to go. Okay. Okay, pretty good. Let's go see where those are. Okay, so that last one was like 261. That's right here. This tree was 272 uh, when I shot it. I'll shoot it again. And uh, yeah, 273. So I've got one here and one right here. So, I mean, this 273 was was one of them. So that's, these are right at what it said. Like pretty right on the money. Yeah, and I'm shooting, let's say the back of the tee box where I hit from, 278. So I didn't hit from the back, I hit a little in front of the back. Get it? So everything's matching up really nicely. That's what you want with a launch monitor. You just want accuracy. And I really only care about a few things. I care about distance, carry distance. I want to know how far am I carrying the ball and swing speed. Okay. That's not super important to me, but I do want to know how am I swinging? Like, am I swinging full or not full? That was really good. Right at it. Okay, not bad, not bad at all. I have a little birdie putt. Made it one-handed. So, you, you, so people are always asking me about good products that uh, are affordable. So in terms of the launch monitors, you know, you're typically spending $450, $500. Um, here you go, under 200 bucks, PRGR, it does everything you really want it to do, especially on course, and you just throw it down. And it does things like, what I'm really impressed about 
is its swing speed motion. You know, how fast can I swing my putter? I know you're always asking yourself that. 71 miles an hour. Look at that. So, smash that like button, subscribe to the channel. Love you guys. Get your PRGR. See you in the next video.